The deadlock at the top of the PNG government is continuing. Both Sir Michael Samari and Peter O'Neill claim to be the rightful Prime Minister. Sir Michael won a Supreme Court ruling earlier this week which declared his overthrow by Peter O'Neill illegal. But Peter O'Neill has a majority in Parliament. Well, this morning, the country's Governor-General was swearing in MPs loyal to Sir Michael as his ministers. PNG correspondent Liam Fox joins me now from Parliament House. So, Liam, it appears the PNG Governor-General is backing Sir Michael Samari. Yes, that's right. Uh, Sir Michael visited Sir Michael Oggio, the Governor-General, at Government House this morning. Soon after Sir Michael uh, Samari arrived, uh, a number of his cabinet uh, followed him in there and we've been told that uh, 19 ministers have been sworn in at a ceremony this morning. Uh, a press release from Sir Michael's spokeswoman, Betha Samari, has also come out to that effect, that, uh, yes, 19 ministers have been sworn in in Sir Michael's new cabinet. The position with Sir Michael himself is that uh, they don't believe he needs to be sworn in again because uh, the Supreme Court order of Monday essentially revokes his removal from office and he doesn't need to take another oath to become Prime Minister. So it appears uh, that uh, the Governor-General is backing Sir Michael. So, Liam, what's uh, Peter O'Neill's response to that? Well, Peter O'Neill and his supporters are in uh, Parliament House. Uh, the session began uh, just under an hour ago. Um, they're still sitting in the government benches. And this morning they passed four motions, uh, the most significant of which was uh, a motion requiring the Governor-General to attend Parliament to swear in Peter O'Neill as the Prime Minister. Another motion required the uh, uh, Commissioner of Police to bring the Governor-General, to assist in bringing the Governor-General to Parliament. And there are other motions, two others requiring that uh, Sir Michael refrain from purporting to be the Prime Minister and that they have no confidence in the announcement of uh, his 19 ministers as being ministers. Now, Australian Defence Minister Stephen Smith has been talking about the situation in PNG. He hopes it will be sorted out internally without the need for outside interference. Here he is. The Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade is obviously uh, monitoring the situation closely, as is the government. Uh, defence has a role to play in that monitoring, but defence is not responding in any, in any way other than simply uh, monitoring the situation, which we hope uh, will be resolved uh, in accordance with Papua New Guinea's constitutional and democratic framework. So, Liam, how is this all going to be sorted out? That's a very difficult question. Uh, the solution is nowhere in sight. Uh, as I said, uh, Peter O'Neill and his supporters uh, are still in Parliament, still sitting in the government benches and showing no signs of backing down, despite uh, the, the signals coming from Government House and the Governor-General that uh, he is backing Sir Michael as the legitimate Prime Minister. Uh, where we go from here, uh, nobody knows at the moment. All right, Liam, thank you.